What's up guys, Miranda here, back with my Target buy two get one movie haul. Uh, like I said, I was waiting on the rest of my shipment. All of it's finally here, so now I can share with you guys what all I picked up. Did get Blu-rays, I got some DVDs, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So starting off with all the Blu-rays, I picked up some that were some recommendations, some new movies that are out, um, some titles I've been meaning to add to my collection, and some that like my son has been wanting. So Venom, this one actually has the Blu-ray and the DVD, you guys. I went ahead and picked this up. I honestly did not really care too much for this movie, but my son is really into, you know, Venom and stuff like that. So I went ahead and picked that up mostly for him. Um, then Suicide Squad, I absolutely love this movie, it's freaking awesome, if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it you guys, I'm sure most of you have seen it though, um, but yes, and this is the extended cut, but definitely, definitely a good watch, um, great action and everything, and just all the characters are awesome you guys. The next movie that I got, uh, it has the Blu-ray and the DVD and it's called Hacksaw Ridge, it's a war based movie, I'm pretty excited about this one because I've heard some great reviews on it. Um, some recommendations, so I went ahead and picked that one up. Next up, I kind of just needed a little add-on, so I went ahead and picked up Enemy of the State with Will Smith in it. I honestly couldn't tell you if I've actually seen this or not. It's such an old movie, I know that, but, um, yeah, I went ahead and picked up anyways. I mean, Will Smith, I love him as an actor. Next up, I picked up Jexy. Everybody has been recommending this movie, said it's really funny. Um, so I am super, super excited to watch this. Then I also picked up this movie. This has the Blu-ray and DVD, and it's Tim Burton's Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I absolutely love this movie, you guys. It just, it rocks. Like, I just love the whole, like, concept of all these unique children and stuff like that. And it's just, it's a really cool movie, actually. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, this one I think I'm even more excited about because everybody has literally been recommending this. You know, it was like named like Best Picture or something like that of 2019. It was one of the best movies, I guess, of 2019. So it has the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I went ahead and picked this up in Blu-ray. Um, so I am super excited to watch this, you guys. I cannot wait. Again, another one for my son, Justice League. He's into that. I don't know why this kid is so obsessed with like superheroes and stuff like that, but he is. So I went ahead and picked him up Justice League. Then I got Fast and the Furious 8 on Blu-ray and DVD. This was the only one left I needed to add to my collection. My previous haul, I hauled number four. Um, and so now with this, I have the complete collection finally. I don't know what took me so long, but I have it now. Then I went ahead and picked up this four film favorites and it's actually the Batman collection you guys but these are like the older ones not the newer ones it's like the Dark Knight or whatever which me personally I was a huge huge fan of these when I was a kid I'm not so much into to the whole like superhero things anymore or whatever but I don't really care for the new Batman movies but I really dig these ones back in the day Another recommendation is the Peanut Butter Falcon and this has Shia LaBeouf in it you guys and to be honest I want to say the last movie I seen him in was uh, like Transformers 3 and that was like a long long time ago. Um, I know he's been in other things I just haven't really heard much about him anymore since like Transformers 3 so but I hear he did really good in this movie and it, like I said it's a recommendation for many of you so I went ahead and picked that up. Christopher Robin was such an amazing movie you guys I absolutely love it it's so cute and yet it's like so sad at the same time I'd be lying if I said I did not cry in this movie <laughs> um but you know blu-ray and dvd I love when you can find the blu-rays that have the dvd because then you have your backup as well but yes if you have not seen Christopher Robin definitely watch it you guys like it's just it's so cutesy <laughs> And but it is it's kind of sad in some parts and I'm sure you know if you're a crier you will definitely cry if you watch this and then I picked up Joker you guys I have not seen this movie I was gonna go see it in theaters with my son but my sisters are like no you can't take him to go see that movie and this movie has just had so many like mixed reviews and it's like a love hate kind of thing I've noticed with many people um, it's definitely a movie I'm gonna have to hide from my son because I know how badly he wanted to watch it and he was kind of bummed but he's just you know not like of age or whatever um so I'm excited to watch it though I am really looking forward to it, it does have the blu-ray and the dvd you guys just have a digital code there 
Um, but yeah, anywho, I am very excited to watch this. Let me know what your guys' thoughts were on this. Like I said, I've seen so many mixed reviews on it. I know some people like kind of went a little cray cray after the movie came out and stuff like that. And I don't know, but I'm excited for this. Okay, so this next movie, it, it was actually a recommendation from, I believe his name is Eli Taylor Reviews, but he is the one funny kid, you guys, let me tell you. He does some awesome like reviews and ranking videos and all that stuff like that. And that's what I love about watching these videos. It's like rankings or, you know, um, you know, such and such actors, movies ranked and like what I watched this month kind of videos it just kind of gives me ideas on what movies like I haven't seen and this is definitely one of them I don't even recall ever hearing about this movie but it's called Scott Pilgrim versus the world it looks like a super funny kind of dorky nerdy movie and that's just kind of right up my alley it has Michael Cera in it and I absolutely love him I think he's freaking hilarious so I am looking forward to watching this so moving along to the DVDs you guys I did pick up this double feature here Shark Tale and Flushed Away. Now I actually already own both of these, but Flushed Away, the kids absolutely love this movie. The DVD is like just, it skips around a lot because of how badly it's scratched and the kids, how they damaged it, you know? So it just went ahead, took advantage of this because the version of Shark Tale that I have is actually on a burned CD, like a burned like DVD, whatever. Like my dad had a friend years ago that used to burn movies for us and stuff like that. So it doesn't actually like have a case. I have quite a few movies that I need to see about like kind of upgrading, I guess you could say, since they don't have cases or they're like burned DVDs. But um, yeah, so I went ahead and picked this up, took advantage of that since it has both of them in it. But Shark Tale is such a cute movie. This one, uh, not really my thing, but the kids love it. Next, I picked up Rampage. Like, you really can't go wrong with Dwayne Johnson. I love his movies. I think he's a really great actor. Um, definitely better, probably, than, like, wrestling. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny how he went from being, like, pro wrestler to being this, like, huge mega actor or whatever but um this movie was actually pretty awesome so i went ahead and picked that up then i have not seen this in forever she's the man with amanda Bynes. um it's you know kind of one of those chick flicks again stuff that i'm into so i went ahead and picked that up um and like i mentioned in my last video i'm trying to up my horror collection because i honestly don't really have too many horror movies so this movie i actually have not seen in years the Ruins. So I went ahead and picked that up. This next movie I honestly liked a lot better than I thought I would. I didn't really think that I was going to like it. Ready Player One. Freaking awesome movie you guys. It's just it's fun and yeah. So if you haven't seen it definitely watch it. It's a Steven Spielberg. Next up we have Bad Moms. I have not seen the Christmas one but this one I watched. It is funny as heck. And in some ways, I kind of feel like it's relatable. Like, I feel sometimes, like, as a mom, you kind of have that feeling way back inside of you, like, just this crazy person wanting to come out, like, jump back to your, you know, younger days and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's why I say it's kind of a little relatable, you know? Um, so, yeah. Definitely a funny movie. And for the kids, the emoji movie, they love it. It's it's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't I just think it's really weird that they made a movie about emojis, so. <laughs> then I picked up Bridge to Terabithia, you guys. We read this book in elementary school and then they brought the movie out. And honestly, I, I'm gonna have to say, if you have never seen this, if this movie was not a part of your childhood, then like where you been because <laughs> like I, I swear like everybody this this movie was in their childhood at some point so <laughs> now I have never seen this but I wanted to pick it up because it does have Leonardo DiCaprio in it and it's catch me if you can it is based on a true story you guys <clears throat> wow that was weird <laughs> um <clears throat> Sorry, something got stuck in my throat there um but it is based on the true story of Frank Abagnale I think that's how you pronounce it and he was this famous con man all before his 21st birthday so yeah went ahead and picked that up then two more here you guys this one is actually a four film and it's more Le Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> gotta have some Leo in my life 
Um, and so you get the movies Revolutionary Road, The Aviator, Body of Lies, and Blood Diamond. Now, um, I have seen Blood Diamond years ago. I think I've seen Body of Lies. Um, I've never seen The Aviator and I've never seen The Revolutionary Road and I'm surprised because this is the only other time I've ever seen him besides in Titanic with Kate Winslet. So you get them again. Whether the love story is as great as in Titanic, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be about like a love story or whatever. I didn't really read about it, but um, yeah, I thought this was a great pickup though. Four movies. Leo. Yes. And then the last movie that I got, uh, it's the 90s film collection. And you get Clueless, which is one I've been meaning to add to my collection. You get Ghost, Superstar, which I have never heard of. Like, it has, who, who the heck is in this? Um, hold on. Molly Shannon and Will Ferrell. So, like I said, I'm not familiar with that movie. I don't recall ever even hearing about it. Um, but basically it's like a Catholic schoolgirl. She kind of like falls in love with the popular guy and yada yada, you know how it goes. Um, and then like I said, you get Tommy Boy and Wayne's World. So I've seen Clueless, I've seen Ghost, I've seen Tommy Boy. Wayne's World, I don't really remember if I have. If I did, it was a long time ago. Such an old movie. Um, but I mostly wanted this for Clueless and for Tommy Boy because those were both on my list that I wanted to add, but... But I thought it was a pretty good deal. Five movies. I think this was only like 13 bucks for the five movies. So, anywho, that is it for the rest of my Target buy two get one haul, you guys. Always adding movies to my collection. <laughs> Anyways, feel free to pick up some of these. You know, like I said, a lot of these are recommendations. And a lot of them are just ones I've been meaning to add to my collection. If you guys have any other recommendations for movies that I should watch, Definitely leave them in the comments below. Appreciate you watching. Join the family if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.